Hi everyone, it is morning here in Savannah and I decided I wanted to do kind of a get ready with me but it's also been a couple of videos that have been requested so I thought that I'll just kind of chuck them all into one and I mentioned in um, one of my videos I think it might have been my makeup buying plan I'm not even really sure that I had got this Urban Decay Moon Dust Palette I got this when it went on sale um, it was like the weekly wow and so it's usually $49 and it was $24.50 and so I chose to pick it up and it's got these eight beautiful glittery shades and I mentioned in there that I hadn't tried it yet and I got a lot of requests to try it out so I figured today we're gonna put that on we're gonna see what I feel like and this is obviously not a full palette in itself I need some other palettes with it so I'm also gonna be pulling out my uh, pan matte palette for this year so I'll go ahead and link that video down below as well and um, this is the Lorac Beauty and the Beast Tales of this time palette and I'll be reaching into here to kind of, you know, use some shades out of here. I'll also be using a bunch of the Project Pan items because that's pretty much how I just do my makeup every day um, is I do mainly Project Pan items. So, I we're just going to play. So, let's start off. I'm going to grab my Stila. This little Stila palette has, like, the best mirror, I swear. Because it it's one that, like, you can kind of hold it out however you want and it'll pretty much stay. And I really like that. And it's like just the perfect size for my hand. Like I said, it is morning, so I will be drinking some coffee. This one is from Valentine's Day last year. It said, you had me. Oh, wait. Yeah, you had me at coffee. So it's from Target, of course, because my life is from Target. So I might take this uh, CoverGirl Smoky Shadow Blast. I'm actually painting this shade, but I think we're going to go with this darker shade because usually... Glitter shades go better over a darker base, so I'm going to take this, and I don't have to use an eyeshadow primer with this guy. I can just smack it on my lids. It does a really nice job of keeping most shadows there all day long. I think I mentioned in my 17 by St. Pat's, that Clover palette just won't stay on my eyeballs. So, um, but everything else, it just stays on so nicely. I don't know the shade name because, aggravatingly enough, CoverGirl does not put the shade name on the packaging. It might be on the like, outer packaging, but not on the inner packaging. The way this is marketed is, is you're supposed to be able to put, like, this shade all over your lid and then this shade in the crease and that's done. But if you do that, it does get really, like, I feel like this does a really good job as a base, but it really, um... It creases and is gross if you don't set it with some shadow. So I'm going to take this tapered blending brush by Beau Gauchis. I feel like if you watch my Get Ready With Me's, which I know I don't do that often, uh, but if you watch them, I use a lot of the same products. I'm going to go into this Lorac Beauty shade. I'm going to go into TikTok, which is right here. We're going to use that as like, you know, my transition shade. <laughs> I've been using, obviously, I started this pan that palette on the 15th of January. Today is the 21st, 22nd, so, you know, uh, seven days ago. And I've really been enjoying it. I know it's been a week, so you're probably like, all right, girl, calm down. But I really have. I think it's a really fun palette, so that's always good. You know, it's nice to be actually enjoying your pan that palette as opposed to hating it. Let's see. So I'm just kind of throwing that up in the crease. I am getting it pretty high, you know, up near my brow bone. I have really small eyes, and they're kind of hooded. And, you know, so we just work with what you got. So I kind of put, I put my makeup up a little higher on my eyeballs so you can really see it, even if my eyes are open. Because when my eyes are all the way open, sometimes it's hard to see my makeup. I'm going to go into this crown du uh, dual-sided brush. I like taking this little brush, I'm going to go back into that TikTok shade, and just using it under my lash line. Right there. Now, as I say, with any get ready with me, you don't have to use these exact shades that I'm using. If, you, if you're like, girl, I don't have that Lorac Beauty and the Beast palette, okay. I'm sure you have, you know, a mid-tone matte pink. There's a bunch in, like, the Naked 3. Oh, gosh. I don't know. 
there's a lot of mid-tone matte pinks out. I'm sure there's one in a modern renaissance. I don't have that palette. I would like to have it. I just don't at the moment. I know it's got a lot of height, but y'all know, I just don't like, it's not really a neutral palette. I don't know. I'm interested in it for sure. This is the crown blending fluff. I keep holding it by the, the like top of the brush so you can't really see it. Okay. I'm going to go into this Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palette. I already kind of had thought about my look because sometimes I end up like sitting here for a little while figuring it out. I'm going to go into this shade Totally Fetch, which I am panning in my 8 by Easter project pan. So like I said, I do have a lot of project pan items in here. And again, if you don't have this palette, just any hot pink shadow will do. I'm just telling you what I'm using specifically. I don't love that mirror. I don't know why, but I don't. So I'm just going back in here. And like I said, I do put it kind of higher up. So if you can see, I'm not really going hardcore into the crease. But this is a really pretty shade. It does blend quite nicely. And it'll just kind of really bring out some pink. Because we're doing pink on the lid. But I could have guessed that. Now I've heard that these are really topper shadows. for the, As far as the Urban Decay. Yeah, I like the way that looks. As far as the Urban Decay Moon Dust palette goes, I've heard that they're topper shadows. I still have not used it, so this will kind of be a first impression with it. If you want me to use it a few more times and then give you like a legitimate review, I can do that. I I usually would prefer to do a review, but you know, I was just kind of thinking this would be a fun, different thing to do. I mean, not different as in like, I'm the first person to ever do this, but different for my channel. Pretty much match. This side of my face never looks as good as this side. I always like the way this side looks better. I don't know why. Probably because I'm right handed in some way. Like a crossing over or something. I'm not really sure. So I like that. I'm afraid it's not going to be quite dark enough. But we're going to just play. I'm going to take this uh, Micah Beauty Cosmetics. It's got it's this angle brush but it's really densely packed. Alright, I'm going to go into the shade Element, and we're going to put that on the outer third or so. So like I said, I've heard that there's a, oh wow, do you see how much glitter we have? Now, I have the shade, let me show you, because I'm kind of thinking it's going to be like these. Here we are. This is the Urban Decay Vice 4 palette, and I have the shade flame right here and I have it pan on it. I'm trying to finish it up for my 17 by St. Pat's but it's pretty much just a bunch of glitter packed on in there and um, I'm thinking that this is going to be a very similar formula and I love that flame shade. I absolutely love it. I'm going to miss it when it's gone. So I'm going to go into this element shade and you can maybe appreciate that we do have a lot of fallout already on the brush. I always do my eye makeup before I do my face makeup because of fallout. And we're just going to put it there. Now I maybe should have put some shadow down before I did this, but we're just going to see what happens. Oh. So it does definitely show up. I don't know about that. I don't know how I feel about that. It's pretty. It definitely is there, which is good. You know, that's the goal is for your makeup to actually show up. I do have a good amount of fallout right there. What I like to do first, this is the Pro Precision Tapered 640 brush by Luxie Beauty. And I like to just kind of sweep away as much excess as I can with this brush. I feel like that's such a bougie thing to have a brush for. Like, oh, this is my sweeping away fallout brush. But that's what I do, so... I'm going to go back into that element shade. Yeah, it's definitely creating a bunch of fallout around the pan, which I don't really care about. Or not fallout, it's called kick up, but whatever, you know what I mean. It is very metallic and glittery. I'm kind of putting it on the outer third-ish. That's not like quite as impactful as I was hoping it would be. And like I said, a lot of people said to put it over other shadows. So I thought this base would be enough. 
but it might not be. All right, now I'm gonna take, this is the brush that comes in the Vice Boar palette. This brush comes in most palettes. I love these flat shader brushes. I love them, I think they're the best because they just pick up, you all see all of that glitter. I'm not gonna go into the Spectre shade and put it all over my lid. Now this is like a very light pink. So we'll just kind of see. I am digging pretty, pretty deeply into these pans. Cause I feel like that'll help pick it up. It's kind of, it, it's patchy looking. You know, I feel like if I would have put a really pretty shimmery white light pink and then put this over it, maybe. Like maybe these are really just true topper shades. Like that flame shade is not. You can use it as a topper, but you can definitely use it on its own. But it seems like you really need a good base under this. Or maybe like a glitter glue. Maybe if I used a glitter glue as opposed to this, you know, that cream shadow that I chose. It's, it's okay. I don't love it, if we're being honest. I really don't, and I feel like I'm building it up a lot, and it's just not near as impactful as I was hoping. Like I said, I know that a lot of people say these are toppers, so maybe I really should have put down more shadow before I just went into it. I thought that cream shadow would be enough. That's why I said, that's why this is a first impression. We're just playing with makeup. This is what I do before I go to school every morning. And today is going to be a long day at school because I got a lot of, um, if you don't know, I'm a master's student and I am, this is my last semester of my uh, master's degree. I'm a marine biologist. And so I've got a ton of data to process today. Um, I've got to reformat it first and then process it all into a, like a formula. So it's going to be a long day at the office, but that's okay. I'm not complaining because I love it. I love what I do. I'm very blessed to do my job. You know, people, whenever I tell people that I, I'm a marine biologist, people are like, that's the job that kids want growing up. I'm like, I know. That might gross some people out. I just put spit, and then I, I use it to clean up some fallout. You know, you can use makeup remover if you want. And if I was doing makeup on some, well, no. I do makeup on my sister a lot, and I tell her to spit on it. It's what I do. I mean, it's not the most professional thing, but again, I'm a marine biologist, not a professional makeup artist. If I was doing makeup on someone else, I would use a makeup remover. But on myself, that works just as good. There's a lot of fallout. This is a pretty look. It's just not quite as like, ba ba boom as I was hoping. I'm going to put this palette away. I'm done with that. All right. So, next up. We are going, oh my goodness, stay. Um, I'm going to put on this Stila smudge stick. I'm panning this as well. Like I said, most of these items you'll notice I am panning. Because um, that's just how I do my makeup. I try to focus on this. This is in the shade Emerald. And I'm going to put it in this lower lash line. That's how I like to do my makeup. I like to really focus in on my panning items. And get some good use out of it. But that also usually means that I'm pulling for like multiple things, as you saw today. And I'm not even done with this eye look. But that's okay. I don't mind that. I know some people don't like that. And obviously when you're traveling, it's different. But at my house, I've got a bunch. Why not pull for a bunch? It doesn't bother me one bit. I'm going to take... Where is it? I'm going to take this little Smashbox Travel Smudger Brush. I'm going to go into the shade Lightyear. Oops, maybe if you could see it. I'm going to try to put that on my lower lash line and see what happens. Might not work. And it might be too glittery. And just end up getting a bunch of glitter in my eye. Oh, it's very glittery. It's pretty though. Mmm, 
definitely got a bunch of glitter in there. That's pretty. We'll do that on the other side. Kind of have to at this point, right? I feel like it's better if you can just like place it and not really try to like blend it. People tell me that when I tell, say I don't like the Lorac Pro, that's what they say to do. They're like, just place your shadows. Don't, don't blend them so much. I'm like, but then I don't like the way that looks either. I like to have a very blended look. Because I think that just looks better. Alright. So we got that. I don't know about this palette. I don't. Like I said, I got it for $24.50 for eight shades, which is about $8 and what? Eight cents? Six cents. Eight dollars and six cents a shade. So, you know, that's not bad. Three dollars and six cents a shade. I'm sorry. Eight divided by five. Twenty-four fifty is what I was doing, and that's about three dollars and six cents a shade, um, and that's not bad. And these are pretty in the pan. I just don't know about them. I just really don't. I knew a, a lot of people gave this bad a bad review, and I was like, I'll play with it. I'll, I bet I could do it. Apparently not. I'm gonna put on my Mac strobe cream today. I'm not finished with my eyes, but I like to put on my primer. I I realize when I do my makeup, I don't really have like a definite order. And what do I do with it? I kind of just do them um, a little bit different every day, which is okay. There we go. Now I'm going to take, like I said, my Coastal Scents Liquid Liner. Again, it's in a pan. You can actually go ahead and think everything's in a pan, unless I say it's not. I'm putting on some chapstick. This is from American Fidelity. This is not in a pan, but it's just my chapstick I'm using right now in my mostly makeup bag. I always have one here and then one in my purse. I don't switch out the one in my purse, but I switch out the one here every month because then I'm getting used to all of them. All right. So this is the liquid eyeliner. It's got this weird, like, almost like a silicone applicator. It usually works really well, but it's really wet. So sometimes I end up, oh, I need to put on my inner corner highlight. I do that almost all day. I'm going to take this cute little, um, Urban Decay Electric Palette Brush. I go through this brush. Now, that, a lot, there's a ton of shimmery whites, and you can use whatever shimmery white you want. I'm going to use the Mars Single Shadow in Vanilla Frosting because I'm panning it. Again, like I said, panning it means that I am going to be going into a bunch of different things. I wouldn't have to. If I wasn't panning this, I could just use um, Dream It in my Lorac Pro Palette. But I'm panning this, so. I'm going to use that. And again, don't feel like you have to have all of these palette, all of these items to make this look. You know. In fact, if you don't have this electric palette, you might, I mean, not electric, luminous palette, you might even get a better look than I have right now. I would rather have used like a matte, matte pink, a matte red in this side, and then gone in with my Stila Magnificent Metals in that, like, what is that shade? Sunset Cove, maybe? It was one of their limited edition ones, this one. In, yeah, Sunset Cove. I would have rather done that, but, you know, you live and you learn. Here we are. I know that this doesn't really count as like a, a tutorial using the, uh, the rock. Beauty and the Beast palette. I'm just saying that. You know, I, I bring it in. And that's kind of how I also feel like I'm going to not get quite so sick of it as some people do with their pan that palettes. Yes, it might mean that my progress is a little slower. But if I kind of use it as a companion palette every day. Like last week, I think I took two days and I did my entire look out of this palette. But if I use it as a companion palette every day, then it'll kind of, I think it'll help me really get through some products better. All right. This liquid liner is really liquidy, which is good, except for it can make a mess really quickly. It's a very thin formula. And half the time I end up with it like, because like I said, I do have kind of put it eyes, and so I end up with it like up there. I'm going to wing it, so I might need some more. I am running out of this, which is good, because, you know, I'm painting it, so that's kind of the point. 
Uh, it's from Coastal Sins. I don't know if I said that. I probably did, but it's just okay. I know it's it's relatively inexpensive. It's like six dollars, but you can get some other ones. I know a lot of people like the NYX one. I haven't tried that one yet, but a lot of people seem to like that one. There we go. It's a cute little wink. Nothing too fancy. I really need to let this dry. Like I said, almost every day I end up with it somewhere. The other day I was putting it like down here and I almost finished and I sneezed and I had like liquid liner everywhere. And it was really upsetting. Not upset, okay, that's dramatic. Like I wasn't like crying in the corner. But I was agitated because I really liked the eye look I'd come up with that day. I'm going to do it on this side as well, you know. Like if I have it on one side, I should probably have it on the other. I end up getting it in my lashes on this side. And I don't really know why because I don't on the other side. And it's always funny to me that I don't like the way this side turns out as well because I can actually close this eye. I can't close this eye. I can completely close this eye and it's always the second eye I do. So you would think, well, I've practiced. I've done the first one already. I should try to do this. The second one should be even better. Never. All right. There we go. That is the most of the eye look. It's not done yet. You know. You know how it goes. I'm going to go into this mascara. It's the Benefit They Are Real mascara. This is not something I'm project painting. And I'm really, really close to being finished with it, which is exciting. I used to hate this mascara. And I'm liking it better. I used to feel like I always poke myself in the eye. With I know my my uh with my wing or my liner being so thick, you probably can't even tell my mascara on video. Yeah, it, this one's done, y'all. It's pretty much just making my lashes black. All right, today's probably the last day I'm gonna use this. That's okay. So, it is a good mascara though. I like it. I like the look it gives. My mom loves this mascara. She is like an estate. She's one of those people that pretty much just buys everything from one brand, which she likes to do. And her brand is Estee Lauder, and it pretty much always has been. And so, she loves the Estee Lauder. Is it the Sumptuous Volume Extreme, I think, is the one she really likes? But anytime I use this, or my sister uses it, because I've given it to my sister, she always really likes it. So I gave it to her for Christmas. I'm going to go. So I was like, now you can use that mascara you love so much. Okay, y'all want to explain to me how I ended up with mascara down there? I would really like to know that. I don't. Well, that's the kind of stuff that happens, you know? All right. There we go. Now I'm going to keep on putting on my face items and I'll put on some brow bone highlight in a minute as well. Um, so, you know, again, if you don't care about face, that's pretty much the eye look finished. Um, I'm gonna, I should probably do my eyebrows though. You know, I'm going to take this, the brow gal pencil. And what I've been using for my brows lately, because again, it is a project pan item. Mm, this video is super long. My get ready rooms are all, always are. This is the Maya Mia palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills in the shade Deep Brown. Choo 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 choo. And so, I don't know. So if you're like, oh, I don't have a brown powder, just go into a, a deep brown shade. Or, you know, I guess everyone doesn't need a deep brown. This is a little strong, especially on camera. As usual, things show up a lot more severe on camera than they are in real life. But I just like the way that looks. I feel like it looks pretty natural. 
but it's a little bit thicker than my natural brow. And I'm going to go into with this. This is the Ulta Clear Brow Gel. It's an awesome brow gel. I like it better than the Anastasia Beverly Hills one, personally. All right. I might end up getting cut off of this video because of the time. So we'll just see what happens. I'm going to keep going until I do or until I finish my makeup. I like to put a bunch in and then kind of spoolie it out. Because that just gives it a little bit more diffused look. So it's not just like, hey girl, why are your eyebrows black? They look, like I said, they look really severe on camera. I don't feel like they look that much in real life. But what are you going to do? Alright, and then I don't, I'm not that into brows. I know that they're like the thing and everyone's supposed to like love them. But I'm really not that into them. That's pretty much what I do. I feel like I have pretty decent natural brows. So maybe that's why I don't care that much. I'm just like, you know, they're pretty good. So why do I need to do all this like 74 hour steps with it? Okie dokie. I'm going to take the Rimmel Stay Matte foundation. I hate this foundation, but I'm panning it. I know a lot of people are going to say to declutter it. I made a whole video about why I don't declutter and I'll link it below if you're interested. I'm trying to put just a little bit on. It's a little light for me right now. This is the shade Light Ivory. I try to just put the tiniest amount on. And it's really, really thick, and that's why I don't like it. But, surprisingly, I seem to like it with a brush better than a sponge. I'm using this Crown Brush brush. Now, usually, you know, a sponge kind of shears it out. So you would think, oh, oh, what did I just do? Excuse me. I swear I'd never ever do that. Oh my gosh. How did that even happen? Well, that's cute. There's a cute little foundation streak. Now it looks like I have like a cool scar on my eyebrows. Well, I guess I'm going to have to fix that. I don't even know how I did that. I guess it's really more surprising that I don't do that more often. But, you know, sponges usually shear out your foundation, so you would think I would like. A sponge with this better, but I actually like this brush. So that's what I'm using. And it just, it's kind of, it's very mask like and very thick, and I don't love it. And you can kind of see the brush strokes. There's not a lot redeeming about this. And I, that's why I wear the strobe cream because I feel like it, you know. It's illuminating and it looks a little more skin like, but not at all my favorite foundation. Alright, cool. So now I'm going to go with my cream cheek products because I am panning a bunch of those. This is the Model Co Highlighting Trio in Bronze. And pretty much what I do is just put a little bit right there. That's why I'm not getting through this very fast. And then I'm going to take this guy. This is the Beauty Basics little angled brush. I'm sorry, I don't get through this very fast because I don't use very much of it. But I don't like, you know, I don't like some people that kind of way overuse their products more than they normally would just because they're panning them. Because then to me, it's still wasteful. It's just as wasteful as not finishing it, you know, as letting it go bad because then it's like, okay, well, you used a bunch of it but more than you would want. Like, yeah, I could put on seven layers of foundation today. Gosh, that would be scary 